Hi guys and welcome to my channel. For today's video I am creating a vignette in my kitchen um, on a tray. Now this vignette I am doing in a fall theme and like I said it is in my kitchen. I'm using it on a small piece of my countertop and um, it's just going to be all fall themed and it is on a tray so that way you can move it around. So here are the different things I'm going to be using. Um, I have this big tray which I got at Pier 1 before it closed down. I have this pumpkin which I recently painted for a DIY on my other channel. I'm going to link it right up here. Um, then I have this sign as well. I created this sign on my DIY channel as well. I really, really love it. Um, I will post the link above as well, so that way you guys can see how I made it. And then I have um, that canister, which I painted white. It, it was from Dollarama, and it was just a silver, like a galvanized, but like with a design, it wasn't very nice, so I painted it white. And these cotton sticks, which I got at Dollar Tree. So the tr tray decor basically is going to be very simple. I'm just going to arrange everything on here. Um, now you'll see later on in the video that I kind of played around with the decor to see um, what I wanted to do. I usually do this um, because I... Um, that's like my thought process. So I kind of get out the things that I think I'm going to use and then I wind up changing it around. If you watch my other kitchen vineyard video, so I'll put that above as well, um, <clears throat> you'll see that um, I kind of play around with it. So um, this video is a part of a challenge hosted by um, This and That with Denise Jordan. And the challenge was to create a kitchen vignette. And um, what we had to do was make sure we used a tray. Uh, the, the reason she wanted us to use a tray is because kitchen spaces are limited usually and you want all the counter space you can have so if you put it on a tray then you can easily remove it if you need that space versus if you you know just put little things on your countertop so that's the idea and it does have to be fall themed we had to have something um written for fall and some sort of flower so that is what you're going what you're seeing today so I'm starting my tray off by putting these cotton stems into um, the canister. Then I'm just going to, like I said, arrange everything on my tray. Um, the canister will be my height, so that's going in the back. And then I have something that's shorter and a little bit wider. And then the pumpkin uh, sign. So here's what I mean by that. I love that pop of blue against um, like the natural colors. I just think it looks so nice. So here I'll turn it around for you so you can see what that looks like. So I'm not entirely happy with this, but I'm going to put it um, in the spot in my kitchen where I'm making the vignette and so that way you can see. I'm going to test it out to see if I use this little guy instead of the pumpkin behind there and then add the pumpkin on the side whether I like that. When I went to put my tray over in the spot in my kitchen I noticed that these um, cotton stems were too high so I folded them down but I was having a they were too stiff together so I'm going to individually fold them down and put them back in. Um, because I don't want them um, looking like they're one piece. I want them to be three individual ones. Um, it is fairly flimsy, those little cotton balls at the top, so they keep on falling off. So um, if you're using it in something that has a lot of traffic or something in it, you might want to hot glue those on so that way they don't fall off. So here it is all set up in the little um, part of my kitchen. I'm not happy with the way the fall is looking. I feel like um, it needs a white background 
in order for it to look better. So I'm playing around. I took the other tray out to see, and I'm just not happy with the way it's looking. So I went downstairs and I got some more um, DIYs, which I'm going to, like I said, link to the um, link above. So this little pumpkin patch sign I made again on my DIY channel, and I'm going to see if this one does the trick. Then I have uh, one of those Dollar Tree pumpkins that I painted white. So I don't like the way it's looking against the canister. So I'm going to try and put it in here. I'm still not liking it, but you guys tell me which look. Maybe you liked the first look with the blue pumpkin and um, and maybe the first look with the blue pumpkin and not this tray and then maybe the, the look with the pumpkin and this tray. Or maybe you like um, you like the this tray with the pumpkin in it. Whichever. I mean, whichever one you like, you let me know what you, which one was your favorite. I guess it would be one, two, um, three, or this is the final one, fourth one. Let me know what you think. So I, and then this is the fifth one. I just wanted to see if, if that would make a difference, but I think it was too much white. So this is what I'm sticking to. Love it. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Denise's channel. Make sure you check out the playlist. Um, if you haven't been to my channel before, I do DIYs on my main channel. On this channel, I do things like vignette, um, home decor tours, some renovations, thrift hauls, Dollar Tree hauls, etc. So stick around and, you know, check out some of my videos. Head on over to my, D my main channel, the DIY channel, and see if you like anything there and consider subscribing. Thanks for stopping by. Have an excellent day. Stay safe.